314 introduces the capacitor mechanic to Star Citizen. Capacitors completely change the way flight and combat work. While it is possible to do everything you could before while ignoring capacitors, understanding them and actively adjusting them based on the situation will, without question, give you an advantage in Star Citizen. Hello, this is Jub from Legacy Fleet. In 314, the power systems downstream of the power plant is divided into three main ship systems, weapons, thrusters, and shields. The capacitors exist within these three systems. The previously power priority triangle has been repurposed as a capacitor distribution triangle, telling your ship how to divvy up the power that your power plant is generating every second. You can control which system gets more power allocated to it by using the F5, F6, F7, and F8 keys by default. Energy weapons in 314 have a given amount of energy ammo, based on how the weapon system's energy is divided up between all the guns. Allocating power to weapons will recharge guns at a faster rate after they are fired. Legacy Fleet's testing showed that switching from even power distribution to full weapons resulted in a 27% increase in recharge rate. Additionally, allocating power to weapons will increase the maximum energy in your weapon system, allowing you to fire more rounds at once before recharging. Again, our testing showed that going from an even power distribution to full weapons resulted in a 22% increase in energy magazine size. Thrusters in 314 have a boost pool that is similar to the boost mechanic as it existed in much older versions of the game. Enabling boost will increase your ship's thrust by a varying amount, depending on your thrust axis and your ship type. Be sure to view the spat to see how your particular ship benefits from boost. Allocating power to thrusters will cause this boost pool to recharge faster, after you have depleted some of it. LF's testing found that thrusters recharge three times faster, with power allocated to 100% thrusters when compared to the neutral 33. Additionally, allocating power to thrusters reduces the boost cost per second, when boost is enabled. Again, our testing showed that a ship thrusting forward at maximum burned boost 39% slower with the power triangle at 100% when compared to the neutral power allocation. Shields in 314 work much like they did previously, except many of the complicated regeneration mechanics have been removed. Allocating power to shields increases shield regeneration after they have been damaged. Our testing showed that switching from even power distribution to full shields resulted in a 175% increase in recharge rate. Additionally, allocating power to shields increases damage resistance. During testing, we found some variance in resistance, but for the most part, shields at 100% allocation benefit from a 34% increase in damage resistance over even power distribution. So, now that you understand how capacitors work, how do you use that knowledge to gain an advantage in combat? There is no one right answer, as the optimal power distribution for any given moment is going to depend on your situation, your abilities, and what your plan is. The biggest key is to simply practice adjusting allocations in a low-stress environment like Pirate Swarm until it becomes second nature. There are a few considerations, though, that we'll leave you with. First, currently ballistics are not affected by capacitors. If you're using ballistics, there is no reason to put any energy into weapons, so you're best served by allocating it elsewhere that isn't wasted. Second, don't forget that holding the power allocation key can max that system out, so you don't have to repeatedly hit the same button if that's what you are trying to do. Also, if you prefer to max systems out a lot, you can just bind the maximum setting directly. Finally, if you're having trouble deciding what to allocate power to, remember that sometimes it might be easier to decide what not to allocate power to. For example, if you are chasing someone who isn't shooting back and you're not worried about wild cards in the area, all the power going to your shields is being wasted, because they are full and not being hit. You probably need your weapons and your boost for this situation though. So instead of allocating power to both weapons and boost, you can actually just minimize shields by using the special binding for this. The power that was in shields will automatically be redistributed evenly between weapons and thrusters. Some players prefer to manage capacitors this way, choosing what isn't needed right now instead of what is. We hope this video helped you. As always, feel free to contact us via YouTube comments or on Discord with any questions or additional tips you might have. That's all for today. See you guys in the verse.